Hello YouTubers, Reloading Bench, back with you yet again. And as you can tell, this is probably not reloading related. This is going to be some machining stuff. So I picked this little vise up, this XY vise, which on the, uh, on the Y axis works great or is smoother. And I honestly can't figure out why. But on the X axis, it's really, really uh not smooth and i'm not sure why so uh, i'm sure i'll be taking it apart uh, in the very near future to figure out you know wtf why why are you so why are you so not not smooth because uh, i guess i could say there's two x axes on here or maybe let's call this the x axis this the y axis and this the clamp uh this is really, really um, not smooth, and it's reflective of the price. Uh, I got this years ago, and this is what I use on my drill press, my Jet uh, floor standing 17-inch drill press. And I thought to myself, you know, I really don't use the 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 x and the y axis to enough degree uh to really warrant and plus with the fact that it's getting worse over time again it probably needs to be taken apart and figured out what what why it's so janky um and it's tall and i find myself with my uh my cabinet my homemade cabinet that i made which i'll, I'll probably take a picture of here maybe uh in a little bit and uh, I have stuff on top of the cabinet, and then the drill table is above that. And whenever I have to lower the drill table to accommodate this, you know, I have to move stuff around. So I decided maybe it was time for something different. Get this out of the way. So I was looking on Facebook Marketplace, and I found a guy who was selling this exact uh, vise. And it looked almost new little bit of surface rust and he wanted 20 bucks for it and I've seen it online for like 40 bucks so I thought to myself ah, 20 bucks he's about 15 minutes away so I reached out to say hey still available well while I was waiting I then jumped out online to see you know hey what does it really cost and I found this obviously here and it was 28 bucks and it was four dollars and some cents off um, next day delivery and I thought okay wh why buy a used one that has you know that's been used uh, has what is obviously some surface rust so uh, didn't look abused but you know for twenty four dollars obviously plus tax let's call let's call it twenty seven dollars for twenty dollars plus let's say a half hour to forty five minutes worth of driving and waiting um, getting it home, cleaning it up, and uh, and such. Why go through that for seven dollars? So uh, I went ahead and ordered it, and here it is. And we'll open it up and see what it looks like. Uh, again, this is low end. This is not uh, milling machine quality. This is drill press quality. So uh, I'm thinking I'll mount it permanently. On my drill press uh, permanently because I think my drill press has the right uh, or can accommodate this particular bolt pattern and you know again this is brand new so uh, no driving it came to me it's a yucky day rainy day and uh, I didn't have to worry about uh, you know buying a, a used piece of equipment um, so let's see, let me hang this off the edge and see how, see how easily that opens up. Okay. That's a heck of a lot easier than the vise that I just showed you. Very nice. Okay. I will uh, spray this with some uh, WD-40 and, uh, throw it on the, uh, drill press and show you what that looks like back in a little while all right so here is my drill press i picked this up used from a guy who was getting rid of uh parts of his machine shop but uh 
the the example that I was talking about, and here's my homemade cabinet that is bolted to the base, so I can remove this cabinet um, should I need to do something where I have to lower the table lower than this. But this is what I was talking about, this particular case of goodies that when I have for anybody who's saying, oh, just loosen the gib screws and everything will be fine on this particular vice, this is what I'm talking about. It's just so high that if I have a bit in here, which you can't see, so if I have a bit in here, or even in the chuck directly, um, this is too tall. This is too tall. So I'm going to finally do something about that, and I usually run it with some um, wood on top of it just to protect and, and such. But let me install the uh, vise, and we'll see how that looks. All right, so I'm reusing old hardware in the garage, and because I don't have, this is like a half inch, I don't have a half inch washer, uh, I took some lock washers and uh, turned them into washers. So that is effectively giving me what I need without having to run to the big box shop. I hate going to the big box shop for the smallest little things. So uh, again, uh, depending on what I'm cutting and its orientation, you know, I can move the drill table around from uh, a centering aspect to uh, to center. In fact, let me give an example. I'll pop the light on and I'll throw on my... So again, depending on what I was doing, and uh, I would probably put some parallels in here for support if I was actually going to be cutting this, but that's in there solid. In fact, you know, it's moving the whole column. Let me turn the light off. You can probably see. So again, depending on where I needed to go and how far back or, you know, how I need to adjust this, uh, I get the benefit of uh, two bolts, whether I have this uh, horizontally mounted or vertically mounted. So uh, the best I'm going to get is uh, two bolts on one side. And uh, right now I'm feeling that... Uh, this is good enough. Again, it all depends on what I'm doing with the piece. So, you know, if I've got a big enough piece, move this around. And again, move the table around. But uh, this is a heck of a lot better uh, for what I need on the drill. Again, not the mill, but the drill than my little cross slide solution that I bought years ago thinking that, oh, I'll be able to mimic a mill by mounting this to my drill and, you know, putting an end mill in here. Uh, no, this is, the, the slop in this is, you know, that's just ignorant speaking. So, I'm a little bit ignorant, still much ignorance, today. Um, so, again, for $24 delivered next day, uh, thank you, uh, Rainforest, because... Uh, uh, that works for me. So we're going to call this done.